Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye. You're at another episode of Harbor Spoon, Tale of Two Towns. Well, 20th is our character's birthday, but we can't celebrate it yet. I got like 500,000 gold. Yeah, they get, as soon as I, I'm getting like 500,000 gold a day. Not 1 million, but yeah. The entirety of assets in my field is like 1 million a day. Hmm. Means at this rate, I'm probably only gonna get 5 million more gold before the end of the season, which is halfway to the goal of a cart. Woohoo! <laughs> That's still a lot of money. That's a that's a crap ton of money, but I need more. <laughs> I will I'll be able to get all my other all my other farm upgrades, but just not the end game stuff. Let's do our need to do our chores, and then we'll go to bed, and then Saturday is a cooking festival. We'll we'll join in on that. Even though we technically don't need to participate anymore, we already got... We already got ten... ten hearts with the town. But it would be nice. It would be nice to participate. And... discover new recipes as an excuse to participate. Let's cook some new things! Milk my cow, get my egg, and then that's all I have to do with my animals. I'll chuck you. Uh, doesn't sound like any other yams came out of the seed maker. Although I did put in some yams late last night. They got completed at night. Yeah, can't fit anymore. And more stuff will be ready tomorrow, unfortunately. <laughs> It's a problem for tomorrow, me. A lot of stuff is gonna be ready tomorrow. Alright, let's go pick our yams. It's just gonna accumulate. <laughs> just accumulating things. I do have a lot... I do have a lot of yams that, like, I can't... even stick in the seed maker. So I might be getting a little bit more like, at the beginning of winter. Anyway, I'll be right back to pick all this. Oh boy, okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's put this stuff away and go to bed and do it again tomorrow. Oh, I'm getting too many yams. It's overflowing. I got, I got one more spot in my, in my cart. Alright, let's go to bed without saving. 21st, here we come. Almost done with fall, which means I won't have to harvest stuff anymore. Today is the cooking festival. I'll go to the mountaintop at noon. The theme is main dish. Think about what we want to we want to make. Also, my yam seeds are done, which means time to shove in more yams. Okay, all done. <laughs> Don't have to wait for all the dings. Three stacks of yams. This will pay out well, hopefully. Time to put more in. I wish, <laughs> kinda wish I could do more than 20, but... It would just take that much longer for it to come out. At least I'd be able to forget about it longer. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Can't fit anymore. <laughs> but I gotta... <laughs> I gotta harvest more and save it. Let's check out my animals and we'll... we'll actually, I, should I should probably should have watered this first thing. Because I can... Really? Can I do the thing where I, I can water it without picking the thing, but... Mmm, not working. <laughs> Be able to water this again after the cooking festival. Milk. 
surprised you guys aren't dirty yet. It'll probably be dirty... Dirty tomorrow. Although, it seems like I don't need to water the yams twice a day. It says if you water it twice a day, it like it'll be ready the next day, ready to harvest. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to actually work like that. It's every other day regardless. Okay, let me get more water. Stop! <laughs> Stop trying to strafe, dang it! Let's grab some of these while the furrow fills up. Okay, I think I watered the whole thing. Unless there's like one spot that's unwatered in the middle. Better not have missed it. Yeah, everything looks nice and moist. Okay, Nook, be right back a second. Alrighty, all done. Put this away, save it for problem for tomorrow, me. The milk. Gotta sell these yams. <laughs> sell the yam seeds. Alright, what to make for the main dish? What do I know already? Omelette, omelette rice, tomato fondue, pink fondue. I could make a cheese fondue. I have cheese, or I can make a raclette. Raclette also uses cheese. What quality of cheese do I have? It's not great, but it'll make something. The flour is good, though. Hmm. Do I go for cheese fondue? Gotta make cheese fondue requires bread. I believe it's just flour and pot. <laughs> like how the ring goes down. <laughs> like I can't make it any better than that. And then I eat the pot again with bread and going to this nacho five my cheese. Yeah, you can use cheese, good cheese or great cheese for this. If you want to make it even better, you can add more cheese. You made cheese fondue. It's your first time making this recipe recorded. All right, four stars. I don't know if this will win. It does. Eh. <laughs> it's not that pricey of an item, but it does recover like 66 stamina. <laughs> A little bit higher than some other stuff. Oh, I got some tea. Like this tea, and maybe I'll just sell it along with the other stuff. Or save it. I guess I can save it. It'll stack. As soon as I like go over 99, though, like the rest is just getting sold. I'm going to keep multiple stacks of stuff. It doesn't fit. They're all fall tea leaves. <laughs> Tastes like they just look like they look very brown, like old leaves. Maybe they take up different nutrients in the fall. A refined flavor. Like an aged wine. Did I melt? I melt the cow right. I think I did that first thing. I'm gonna say I did. Oh god, <laughs> get me out of here! Get me out of this hellhole! Dang, slope. Uh, horse? Why have you forsaken me? Where the heck did you go? <laughs> I saw him by the water hole and then juke me? There it is. It's like, dang it. <laughs> I'm like, did it go around and go back to the barn? But, like, I didn't see it walk that way. Uh, taste some disappointment. There's no no ore stone, no scrap. Not even like some copper or something. <laughs> like 
Give me something other than scrap. I want that. I want that rock. Give me that rock. Hey, Weasel, you want to be friends? Just be friends. Pick up that lavender too, even though I'm probably just gonna get rid of it. We're not friends yet. I got off way too soon. I'm <laughs> like, why did I think I was at the top of the mountain? A little bit higher up the slope, dear. There we go. The various ingredients and melt melted cheese. Except for here, it's only bread. I'm in! Let's get started then! Friendship points with everyone. Everyone, the wait is over. The day of the cooking festival has arrived. The theme of today's cooking festival is main dish. I'm sure our contestants have something delicious planned for us today. I've been waiting for this, Ina. You too? So have I. Now I'll see just how far each village's cooking skills have come. It's on, Rutger. Bring it. Well, they can't get any friendlier than this. We're already at 10 hearts. Unless we did so terrible that they went down, that would suck. <laughs> now then, we brought in a special guest to be our judge today. The world famous Gourmet Pierre. Now let's give him a grand welcome. There he is. All the way from, from Sunshine Island. Hello everyone, I'm Pierre. I'll be using all my gourmet expertise to judge this contest. Now let's introduce our competitors. First, Team Bluebell. Next, Team Konohana. Yay. Can't wait to see what you've all cooked up for me today. Actually, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it is not as dumb. Yeah, D Diego? Yeah, Diego's participating. I'm like, wait. I've never seen him participate before. So you get the judging. Uh, well... It doesn't look like he's doing this team any favors. I'll start with Team Bluebell's food. What do they make? It's like a lot of... Like a farmer's breakfast or something there? Can't tell. What fantastic flavor! At least they got one heart. To balance out that failed dish. Simply wonderful! Um, what a unique flavor. I finished judging Team Bluebell's food. Let's see how Konohana's food compares. Right, we got all good cooks here. <laughs> Looks like they made, like, I got like two, like, baked rice ball looking things and the only thing that's different is my cheese fondue. <laughs> now let me try Team Konohana's food. Alright, they like the rice ball. What fantastic flavor! Another heart. This is amazing! What fantastic flavor! <laughs> Has to compare one rice ball to another. Phew, that was some good food! I've tasted all the dishes. So now I'd like to move on to the re results. Alright, we gotta win. Like, <laughs> we didn't have a failed dish, so we should win. As usual, both teams had some delicious food. It's hard to make such fine dishes. But it's the job of a gourmet to make those kinds of tough decisions. Blah, blah, words. <laughs> and now I'd like to announce the results. The winner is... Don't be all... suspenseful about it. Is it you? No. Is it you? We did it! We won! Team Konohana! Yay! So we won this time. 
It looks like it. I'm sorry to let my predecessor down. Now there's nothing to be ashamed of. You should be proud of how you did. Another time you might have lost. Yeah, just don't put Diego on your team. <laughs> but we had our best people doing their best cooking. I didn't see much of a difference between dishes both sides prepared, although there was one burnt dish that wasn't fit for feeding chickens. This was a close call, so you should be proud of that. You're right. I am proud. And we will win next time. We'll see about that. Ha 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 ha. And this brings today's cooking festival to an end. A big thank you to all our competitors and spectators. Next theme will be dessert. I'm looking forward to seeing some more delicious food next time. Until next time, then. Don't know what I should make for dessert. Like, a lot of my new desserts is, like, stuff I can't make just because I don't have access to butter or chocolate. <laughs> Mulan, thank you for competing today. Thanks to our village one. I really appreciate it. Except this mithril is a small token of my gratitude. I'm just gonna sell it. I hope you'll do even better next time. I'm counting on you. Ina has a, has a source of mithril. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Dum da da da! Great job, Milan. You saw the mayor's friendliness meter looks. Still the same. <laughs> the mayor seems like they're actually okay with each other now. You're really amazing, Milan. My compliments. Now all they need is something to bring them together again. Maybe our best bet is to have them open the tunnel, don't you think? We're almost there. Good luck. I just gotta get Eileen to do that. <laughs> I give you something? Really? I can't even go see the goddess. <laughs> like, can I give you, like, an egg or something while I'm up here? Nope. Uh, no. I think I just realized the bugs that I'm missing. I think there are actually in areas that I can't access until I break down more tunnels and get more shortcuts, so... Yeah, I did say I wanted to do some insect hunting, but maybe scratch that until next year. Well, probably forget forget about it by then. Uh, duck. I do have some fish for you, duck. Barely fresh kill a fish. Here, eat it. There, I gotta sell some stuff and then water and then go to bed and then. <laughs> I've got to pick stuff all over again. Sell that. Sell that. can to empty out. So we're like, I can't fill it up until it tells me. <laughs> like, wouldn't the watering can be empty regardless of, like, the water flowing through the trench? Does it- does it make sense? No, it's not even dry yet. Gotta wait a- gotta wait a minute. I probably should have sold some fish. This to- Do it now. I'm doing it now. Thank you. All right, time for bed. Oh, never mind. Yam seeds complete. <laughs> Therefore, must input more yams. Yep. <laughs> Having my maker machine work overtime here.
I'll be ready tomorrow. Well, we will be able. Mm. <laughs> Say I'll be ready tomorrow, but probably two days I'll get it out. I'm not gonna be awake for too long on Sunday. Just maybe long enough to go on a date with Dirk. All right, to bed. Get a bit of that saving. Maybe we'll get to the the crop festival. And I'll get to move after that. <laughs> 800,000! Very nice. Let's see our animal. I bet all our animals need to be washed. They're all dirty. Water my crops first. My animals are at side thi side thing. They're side business. Go! Oh, I wish <laughs> I wish my fields weren't so laggy. Once I get away from them, it's like all right. Frame rate's normal. <laughs> the cow or did I just clean the cow? I only clean the cow. And I should get a regular chicken. Like I was only gonna get a regular chicken when I went to Bluebell because I wanted to get a pair of them. Well, maybe I should just get one regular chicken and then just get nine fresh silky chickens when I move to Bluebell. I don't know, it's just a thought. Seems like there's a lot of things that require regular eggs. I just don't have regular eggs, unfortunately. Alright, all watered. Uh, I'll be right back. And yeah, this will be all picked. Okie doke, finally. Finish that. Stuff it in my overstuffed carriage, and what do I need? So I'll give dirt good cream croquettes. What are my apples done? No apples. Let's go. He should be like in his house, or at least looking at his garden or something. <laughs> should, I, should I check the request board? Not sure there's anything new, or maybe just. Hi. How you doing? Should have brought. Sent you tea, but that's fine. Oh, but I like to go on a date. I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go with you too. Uh, you don't like the tea house? <laughs> I don't really. Actually, if I go to the spring, I could just fly back down, so that doesn't matter. I have the owl. It's not raining. I can give the goddess an egg as well. Whenever I come here, I find songs pop into my head. There's definitely a presence sacred to music here. It's a harvest goddess, not the, the music goddess. She does like to sing, though. <laughs> like, for some reason, I hear this melody. It's saying dum da da da. Today was a lot of fun. I'd like to talk with you again. Give you an egg. That. Dum -da -da -da, it's me, the amazing harvest goddess. I love this. Thanks so much, Milan. Toodles. All right, glad you liked it. Go back down. It's time for it's time for a date. Hey, Nathan. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he's like he went down. <laughs> he went down in affection. We haven't talked to him in a while. Go. Let's go to Kodana, not Bluebell. That would be a long trek back on our two little legs. Here we are. I could actually sell some stuff. A small stack. 
Before these start going bad, I'll keep the killer fish in case I want to feed the duck. Although I gotta be careful not to feed the duck bad killer fish. Be rotten. Morning, Milan. <laughs> I'm still sleepy. Cream croquettes. If you still love me, Dirk. Hey, do you want to hang out with me for a bit, Milan? Sure. Where do you want to go? Let's go... Go to your house. <laughs> We're already here. Although the weather's nice, it would be nice to go outside. The other day at Kana's house, I saw a big book all about horses. I've been... <laughs> I've been to a lot of horse racing events, so we had a lively discussion. Are, are there horse races in Grand Bazaar? There's a lot of games that don't have horse races. Like, the DS slash Cube didn't have horse races. And this game doesn't have a horse race. It's always a nice event, though. <laughs> for gambling. Even a Magical Melody. Like, because it would boost... It would boost how much you could... The, like, the resale value of your horse. You can actually make a lot of money by just racing horses and then selling, selling your winners. Well, not in this game, though. It is kind of interesting that he talks about it, though. And it's interesting, in a game that has two horse ranches, there are no horse races. It has, like, a, a weird... A weird... This game kind of revolves around the horse and the cart. Yeah, no horse race. Today was a lot of fun, thanks. We should get together and talk again sometime. Alright, well... Did that, our, our weekly date, date with Dirk, because we can't do it on Saturdays until next season. Let's do another day. Another day of agonizing yam farming. Uh, what calendar events are coming up? It's Rose's birthday, we don't need to give her a gift though. Eggplant festival. Should, I should be able to move on Thursday. I'm gonna move to Bluebell. Temporarily for winter. I guess I'll participate in the cooking festival on Bluebell's side. Alright, to bed! Yeah, I already put everything away I need that needs to be put away. Let's get to bed without saving. real quick while our watering can empties out. Yeet. A lot more yams done as well, so... I'm shoving more... more things to turn into seeds. Goodwill? <laughs> it sounds like I'm saying goodwill. Checked out the goodwill. I always hear people finding like ridiculously good finds. Like some old game hunters. Like, oh, like I found this $200 game back at Goodwill for like two bucks. <laughs> Probably wouldn't find that anymore though. We have like more and more people who know the value of games. And it's not just like some parent. Giving away their kids' games when they like go to college, not realizing the value. Some apples. Give me that. There's two fish. Kind of odd that we're letting salmon breed, but we're just making. <laughs> It's essentially just cloning the salmon because it's the same salmon that that's like already ready to give eggs, if that makes sense. Okay, I probably should have put this yam away, but we'll 
don't deal with it. I'm gonna have to constantly deselect it every time I go into this menu. thing I can do. I can actually switch uh, the screens. Okay. All full. Can't fit anymore. Right, I guess I'll, I'll be right back and pick this in a jiffy for you guys. Finally all done! Alright, we can probably do another day or two. Considering our pacing. Alright, stuff more of this in here. Uh, I gotta sell that. Well, actually, I'll go out and sell my, my yams. I wonder what I'm gonna do after this. <laughs> I've been binging the third season of... of Welcome to Demon School, Yuriba kun I probably should have waited until the whole third season was out because I knew I was gonna be obsessed with it. So good, like even like all the character relationship dynamics and like a lot of them are just like frenemies. Even like the new character, like they introduced like Bachika. She's like she seems like a bully, but then they show you the backstory and you're like, oh, I feel bad. <laughs> That's why she acts all, like, prickly. I'm just, like, watching all the characters just get stronger and stronger. Rooting. Rooting for them. Like, ah, oh, come on, become the demon lord. It'll be so good. It'll be so ironic. Okay, well, at least it's raining, so I don't have to... I don't have to deal with that. Ow. Just <laughs> drowning on my own farm. Let's get this out of here. Put three more stacks in. Only to fill up more. Fill up with more stuff. I got seven... Seven million gold. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get the cart this season. I know once I, I move to Bluebell, it's gonna wipe the request off the board, so it would have to be in winter anyway. I might get close to it, because I'll be probably processing more yams in winter, because yeah, I can't can't fit them all. <laughs> can't seem to fit them all into the seed maker. I need to read like Biblio. I wanted to read Bibliophile Princess Book 2. So I'm kind of like reading while simultaneously watching the anime. And like so far the anime is caught up with book one. So like I wanted to, just, wanted to read book two for watching like the newest episode. Okay, well, we'll go pick this BRB. All right, all done. I think I actually noticed something over here. Yeah, some grapes. I didn't expect to get this mid-season, but I guess it's been a full-grown tree long enough for me to get fruit off it. I can't even fruit it though. <laughs> no. Oh no. Uh... Can I cook with it right now? What do I know? Wait, do I... No, I don't know the recipe for manure. Can I just make it now? 
Maybe I'll actually do that now. This is uh, it's cook without recipe. Manure. I know the recipe for marinated fish, which uses salmon, but manure requires the same thing. Let's see, frying pan. Let's use a salmon for something. Salmon. Uh, we need to bread it. So I just need it. <laughs> bread it in flour, not bread. And oil. Fried up. Wherever my oil is. Hopefully I, I looked at that right. Alright, manure. I figured out how to cook fish stew! Recipe recorded. Well, that's actually kind of nice, because... A lot of the fish recipes just require random stuff. Uh, how about others? How about we make we make stuff in the other category? Like the jams. I only know strawberry jam, so I can make a lot of other jam. Uh, let's go for that recipe, so... Just need pot. Grape. Go. Need grape jam. I'm surprised I don't know the recipe for blueberry jam. <laughs> Maybe I should save a blueberry to make that. Like, I always get it from requests, but... Same with the apple jam. Oh, my poor cat. She's like, I'm lonely. Why have you forsaken me, master? And that's all the jam I can make. What other stuff can I make? Uh, is there, like, juice? Like, grape juice? Or is it only wine? I probably know a few juices. Let's see what juices I do know. Uh, cook from recipe. I know peach, apple, mandarin, plum, alcohol. Let's see. Can I make mixed juice with what I have? <clears throat> peach juice, banana juice, mixed juice. I don't think I have bananas. I think I got rid of all my bananas. Really? That's all I can use right now? Like, I can obviously probably use the grapes to make wine, but I don't have the beverage maker. Gotta scratch that. <laughs> okay. Well, I think using the salmon has given me space, though, to accommodate this grape, so I'll be able to stack them. Stack them for later. I'll sell the shenanigans. And actually, I'm gonna check for the ore stone at the waterfall node, because it's raining. It's a good time to do that. Do, 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 do. Then we could probably do another day. At least one more day. Sorry, I gotta get rid of this. Anything in here? Scrap. Another piece of scrap. Boop boop. Alright, let's keep going. Is there a blueberry juice recipe as well, or is it just jam? I want to see plum juice. Okay. Yeah, I should I should get a a blueberry to make that jam. Here's one. Okay. I never thought about making it. Because I always get it from requests. Oh my poor kitty. I haven't given her enough things to do. I just hear her clawing at the door and doing her little meows. She was playing a lot today. She found a, like a little crinkly mouse toy and she's like rolling on it. She's doing a thing where she will go up to it, like lay on it, and then like kick her legs at it. Kind of like eviscerate it. Like how, how adorable it's trying to eviscerate the little mouse. This 
kind of funny. Like, do that. Usually she just likes the bat around things. Like, he'll steal my hair ties and then fling it around and then lose it somewhere and then lose interest. Like, she won't hunt it down. Like, if it gets to a spot that's, like, too inconvenient for her, she's like, oh, oh well. Time to do something else. Yeah, give me that branch. It's funny how, like, unmotivated <laughs> cats can be. It's not like a dog where it's just like, oh, there's a ball, I gotta get the ball. Where, where is it? Where's the ball? I'm gonna chew up this door to get this ball. That recipe. Even check the the thing. Okay. Didn't mess it up this time. Recipe recorded. Alright, one more day. Let's go to bed without saving. And the next episode we will move to Bluebell and probably finish fall. Gotta bring our eggplant to that. I keep missing. So many yam seeds that are done. All you dirty animals. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Not Christmas yet, guys. Watch all the Christmas movies. <laughs> what are your guys' favorite Christmas movies? I watched a lot of Home Alone when I was a kid, and I, I still like it. Um, nowadays, like every year, I, I we always watch Elf. It's with like Will Ferrell. It's just funny. I wasn't too much of a big Grinch watcher. I didn't like the Grinch cartoon. The one with Jim Carrey, like. I saw it when it was new, and like, I liked it, but... Yeah, like, I wasn't really a big fan of the Grinch story, in general. What? Kinda funny, like, what different Christmas movies people prefer watching. Some of it's, like, nice, some of it's crude. It's like, some crude Christmas movies out there. <laughs> There's probably one person that's like, I always watch, uh... <laughs> Isn't there like a horror movie with like Santa Claus? Ugh, I forgot what like evil Santa Claus is called. Yeah, <laughs> so much. So I was like, I watch that movie every year. It's my my Christmas my Christmas tradition. All right, the milk is the cow. Hard to get into, like, Christmas spirit nowadays. I'm just a jaded adult. I would get so excited for Christmas when I was a kid, though. I, lo I love decorating. I would like to pretend I was a reindeer. <laughs> like, I wanted to fly. I would gaze at the Christmas tree. I was, like, just in anticipation of opening the presents. And I would, like, I never ripped open the presents. But I would, like, I would obey. <laughs> I would wait till Christmas. And it was always such agony, because um, my parents made a rule that we can't open the presents until, like, everyone's awake and, like, around the tree. And my parents always had midnight Christmas Eve jobs. <laughs> so sometimes we wouldn't open our presents till, like, 10 or 12, and then um, we wouldn't be able to play with our presents, because family would come over. And yeah, usually we'd get like a game or something. It's like, well, your cousins are here, you better entertain your cousins. Like, man. It was a multiplayer game that we could play together. A lot of times it was like a single player game though. God, I remember my cousin, <laughs> one of my cousins, my older cousins, like, oh, how many teeth have I picked? Dum da da da, you've. Harvested a hundred of those fall tea leaves thingies. I like how it's it, like it depends on the spring, summer, or fall. Congratulations, you're just beginning though. Keep on raising those crops, you can harvest even more. I'll keep it the good work, toodles. Thank you. I'll keep 
picking these. Yeah, my my older cousin like practically beat the entirety of Pokemon Yellow like the day I got it. Like really. <laughs> I can let this kid enjoy their game. I'm gonna put put the ZM in there and then. Seeds, put in more seeds. Put in more crops to get more seeds. up with the with the yam processing. Okay, can't fit anymore. Time to time to collect. Did I even finish watering? I might not have even finished watering. Looks like actually it looks like I did. Okay, good. I was <laughs> gonna be like Ugh. <laughs> I have like this spot that's like needs to be watered at like 9 p.m. Okay, I'll be right back and it should be time for the festival by the time we're done. Finally, huh? Alright, just in the nick of time, it's 12. Can I fit it all? Yes, I can. Uh, not saving that. Okay, we're gonna sell. Okay, let, me get my, let me get my eggplant out. I think about it, I should probably turn all my black eggs into ice cream. <laughs> Even though it's like an extra step, but if I keep doing it, then I can gain some inspiration. Okay, I can just sell it though. So it doesn't go bad, or I can eat it. Let's do this festival and then we'll end the episode. Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. This right something I can use for the chestnut, I just don't know what. My meager savings in the tunnel and get disappointed. Alright, well, in a week this will actually be cleared out. Which means I can find more scrap in here. Large killerfish, mint and lavender. Una. Small killerfish. Wow, I could have done that. I I had had killerfish. Oh, that's probably bad bad by now. Six blueberries, blueberries. Garbage can she pickled onion. Nope, not doing that. Uh okay, it's close to Thursday. I was gonna move tomorrow, but I don't think I could do it tomorrow, so I'm gonna have to do it Friday. Yeah. I think I, I can only do it Friday, I think. Cause then after that it's a cooking festival. Ooh. Maybe I should wear some uh clothes that ensures that the weather's nice. I think I don't think Ina abandons the counter though in bad weather. <clears throat> Today's the fall crop festival. Do you wanna participate? Let's start. Let's get started then. <laughs> it's the day you've been waiting for, the fall crop festival. This time the Crop is eggplant. We have some fantastic crops again this year. And now it's time for our contestants to come forward. Here we are. Looks like a different farmer. She looks like she has like a different colored apron. Here's our eggplants. I'll introduce the entrance one by one. Entry number one, Cory. Hello, Cory. Are you an eggplant farmer? Entry number two, Milan. Entry number 
victory number three, gonna be. Sorry, Corey, you're gonna lose. I've I've bribed the judges. Everyone here's my friend. Those are our entrants. Whose crops will be the best? Time to start the judging. Imagine I lost. You're like, wait, I have five stars. I can't go any better than that. Unlike the other story you've seen in these games where it goes into like orange stars. I'll now announce the results of this crop festival. In third place, Gombi, because he sucks. Second place, Cory. And in first place, the one who entered the best crops of all. It's Milan! Yay! Color, shape, flavor, these fantastic crops had it all. The crops of other of the other entrants were also great. I can't wait for next time. And now let's close with a rip big round of applause for our festival entrance. Yay! Cheer for me. Congratulations, Milan. You did a fine job, and now you get the grand prize. Here you go. What do I get? I got to Moonstone? Fluorite? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I hope you'll keep on growing great crops. I look forward to next time. It's fluorite, okay. I don't think if I need fluorite for anything or if the rank is too low. I think the rank is too low, like whatever I get from the festivals. I think whatever Shang needs is like two stars and a half, so I'm just gonna sell it. Poor killer fish are not so fresh anymore. You, you can you can be sold too. Water one more time. Water this one more time. Water flow through the trench. Pond. Wondering what I should plant here. Uh, this actually goes up pretty far. Pop. What the heck? <laughs> I got a carrot! <laughs> Where'd you get that, sir? Expecting anything. Uh, do I keep the carrot? Do I try to cook with it? Do I give it to a friendly little rabbit? I don't know. That sucks I can't fit a tree here. I'm trying to think what I want to do with this area here. Like, do I keep the cocoa and just surround it with like tea? Do I try to use it for crops? I mean, I could. It was like. Put the furrow like that, and then it would go up, and then... Oh god, and then it, it would get a little bit weird at this point. Um, <laughs> like, I could go this way. No. Kind of interesting how I, I would do the snake. Maybe i just, like, forego that, that area. Just go like that, like that, and then like that. That would be, like, the biggest furrow I can do. If I wanted to be, like... Min max my croppage. But then I have to get rid of the tree. I do want to put a cocoa tree here though. It would be nice to put another one here. But I don't think I can. Yeah. I'll bop your head. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some more carrots, man. I don't know what to do with this carrot. I don't need to save it, because it's not five stars, but I can cook with it. I just don't know what. 
Can I make some carrot juice or something? I don't think that's a thing. Not in this game, anyway. Space. There's no space for it. Alright, well, that's it's just gonna sit in my bag. We are ready for bed, I think. Yeah. Okie doke. Well, anywho. Save off screen. I hope you guys had a relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.